Yellowstone supervolcano uptick in activity at the new thermal area discovered and this has been growing in the last two weeks. We've been seeing earthquake activity there, earthquake swarms that is, and this has been recently announced by USGS that they found this new thermal area. It's uh, just west-northwest of Yellowstone Lake. And they were in the process of mapping over 10,000 geothermal spots of Yellowstone and that's how they found it. They found it through uh, thermal imaging and I would venture to say that they will be sending once the weather gets better because this is all frozen up basically snowed over uh, once the uh, area thaws out they will be sending a team in to have a first-hand look and observe at what is going on there. Has there been uh, fumaroles, uh, springs, are they geysers, what's going on there? So the new thermal area discovered at the Yellowstone supervolcano has grown within these past two uh, decades as we can see and shows there is an unusual uptick in activity at Yellowstone in around that area. Scientists discovered this new thermal area at the park which is believed to have grown over the 20 years. The previously unknown pocket of warmth discovered nestled between West Turn Lake and the Turn Lake Thermal Area after studying the latest thermal infrared images of Yellowstone National Park and they were taken April 2017. The team then checked high resolution aerial photos of the same spot captured in 2017 by the National Agriculture Image Programmer and noticed dead trees and bright soil. These were the signs of a thermal area they were expecting to find. In contrast, a 1994 picture showed a crop of healthy trees which started to fade in 2006 images, which means that the ground underneath was being uh, heated up to an extreme level, causing the trees to die. Researchers therefore believe the thermal area near the northeast border of the Sour Creek resurgent dome first emerged in the late 1990s or the early 2000s. Now, the map of the thermal areas in Yellowstone National Park shows most of Yellowstone's more than 10,000 thermal features are clustered together into about 120 distinct thermal areas and in the maps that we have the thermal areas are in red the lakes of course are in blue and the, the caldera is outlined in, in the black line and the roads are gray of course so 120 distinct thermal areas the Yellowstone caldera and resurgent domes dotted Roads yellow, orange box showing the location of Turn Lake and the region where the thermal area sits is relatively unexplored still, around half a mile from the nearest trail and 11.2 miles from the nearest trailheads. You can understand how difficult it is to get there. That explains why the thermal area has only just been discovered, according to the U.S. National Geodetic Survey states. So Yellowstone's thermal areas are the surface expression of the deeper magmatic system, of course, and they're always changing. They heat up, they cool down, and they can move around. This is what the U.S. National Geodetic Survey said of the National Park, which is, of course, famed for its long dormant supervolcano. More than 10,000 thermal features found across 120 thermal areas most of which sit in remote, hard-to-reach areas. Now, concerning the thermal areas, Turn Lake, West Turn Lake, and between them is the new feature of the thermal area that has been found. Thermal areas made up of a sequence of geological units with at least one thermal feature, like a geyser, sitting inside an area of 
hydrothermally altered ground, hydrothermal mineral deposits, geothermal gas emissions, heated ground, and or a lack of vegetation, according to the U.S. National Geodetic Survey. The finding highlights that changes are always taking place, sometimes in remote and generally inaccessible areas of the park. The Landsat 8 nighttime thermal infrared image of April 2017 shows Turn Lake area. In Yellowstone, temperatures are extremely cold at night in the winter. And most lakes are frozen, showing by dark pixels. And West Turn Lake seems to be thawing, perhaps receiving some thermal water from nearby hot springs. The, pra the, the patch of bright, warm pixels between West Turn Lake and Turn Lake thermal areas emerged over the last 20 years. Lakes are outlined in blue, as we said, boundary of the Sour Creek Research and Dome is in black. Known thermal areas outlined in red, and the red triangles are individual thermal features that have been mapped. The thermal area at 44.6635 degrees north latitude and 110.279 degrees west longitude is seen using Google Earth and the time slider function showing how it grew over time. And these pictures are by USGS, of course. And earlier this year, Yellowstone Volcano Observatory revealed that 2018 was a record-breaking year for the tallest active geyser in the world, which is located in the park, the Steamboat Geyser, erupted 32 times, topping 29 eruptions back in 1964. That record-breaking year was not limited to just the Steamboat Geyser, and when taken together, these events are likely to be a sign that there is an unusual uptick in activity at Yellowstone and around the area. This is according to USGS and Strange Sounds. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with 
university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.